Okay. So we got a lot of comments. A lot of people asking, what the hell am I doing? Why am I down here? Why, why am I doing this? So, in 1715, July 31st, a massive treasure fleet went down out, off our coast in here in Melbourne, Florida. And that's why the, the Treasure Coast. We are at the tip of the Bermuda Triangle. I don't think the theories are correct of where that fleet went down. From what I've noticed is that a lot of these so-called treasure hunting companies and publicly traded treasure hunting companies are scams. Uh, and the people running them are just smooth talkers. They could look like Brad Pitt or they could look like Colonel Sanders. Either way, they're frauds. Uh, I know of one company that has spent, oh, 15... Wait a second, hold on million dollars on hey, a few mine. square miles and found nothing and they just prey on the elderly to invest in them knowing Iron. that there's no treasure Can't but the treasure's in the stock. Yeah, I want to try to expose the think, frauds opinion? and find like, treasure. A closer look. So that's what we're doing. We're having fun doing this. And I will get into the mechanics of how these companies are doing this and the mechanics of how they're doing this and the evidence of how they're doing this. I will explain everything and I will make everything public. But I want everyone to know there are legitimate treasure hunters out there that just want to hunt treasure. If there is a publicly traded company that's coming to you asking for money and they have no results in over a decade, I'm not even a decade, say two years, they're a scam. Don't do that. I'll explain more later. Look at this guy. Oh yeah. That's, oh my god, that's in there. You got that shovel? I do. <laughs> you did you? Did you find another penny? Yeah. Oh my penny. Did I? Uh -oh. So here we are at another spit up deposit. I'm here with Dr. Robert English, my uh, chief archaeologist. And we're finding period iron with heavy oxidation in them. And they appear to have objects in them that grew around, that the oxidation had actually grown around. You can see it right there in the glass. Rob, do you want to speak to that? Um, I just, just gonna have to take it back and put it in some chloric acid and see what. Yeah, good idea. That's a good idea. Cover here. Yeah. So we're just gonna pack it all up and uh, take it with take us. Take it with us and see yeah. what's in it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good find. It's our plan. Good find, buddy. Thank you. Let's uh, let's get back to work. All right. Absolutely. Let's get on it. Pack it up and go. So, in a dynamic environment like the sea, what ha tend tends to happen to ferrous material is that when the ship goes down and it erodes around the iron portions of the ship, other pieces of metal and glass and other objects become oxidized in the in the material itself. So when you use, hyd say, hydrochloric acid, like Dr. English uh, described to us, or muriatic acid, which is very similar, you can actually uncover some of these artifacts that are located within the oxidated iron itself. It's pretty interesting to watch too. So where I am right now, they call it a river, but it's actually a lagoon. And the body of mass that's adjacent to it was actually a sandbar when this fleet went down. So, it's only logical that this would be a place you'd want to search 
it's only common sense. I don't know why the hell archaeologists haven't figured this out. Apparently they haven't. I don't get it either. But it seems to be working. So that's brass piping. It's not, the brass pipes aren't, aren't uniform. And you see how they're cut at an angle? Yeah. That's for harmonics. That's a musical instrument. I think that's an organ. It's a good possibility. That's an organ. I think that's Captain's organ. I mean, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna definitely say it is. I'm gonna take a little look at it. I can do it up, but that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, right on. Okay, back to the scam that these people are running. So what they do is they set up this publicly traded company and they get a permit from the state knowing there's nothing there. And sometimes they'll move artifacts onto that site as a prop and they'll get people to go and help them hey, raise Bobby, money for this. Here, and when they do that, they trade the stock amongst themselves to get the buying volume up to make it appear that the company's legit. The company's not legit. There's nothing there. They're just trading amongst themselves to give the illusion that the stock price, that the stock is trading. And some fools fall for it. And they get a lot of money out of this. But not the actual investors. The investors actually lose their ass on this because the stock's impossible to sell. The company itself won't let you sell it. Or the stock is just worthless on the open market and no one wants to buy it. So they trap you in. If you want to know if a treasure company is legit, ask them if they found anything. And if they haven't found anything, they're not legit. Back to the actual treasure hunting. So we found this plank and it had iron, oxidized iron on it. So we inspected it to see if it was modern or if it was ancient. It did turn out to be modern, but it was still a really cool find in any ways, as you can see. glass and bottles is important because it actually allows you to date the area. Okay, so I think we fixed the debris field back up given some of the uh, planking and iron artifacts that we're finding and the level of oxidation on those artifacts themselves. Uh, I'm not promising we're, we're on it right this second, but it's looking prom it, 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 it look, it's looking pretty good right now. I'll keep, keep trying to get back to work. <laughs> back to work. <laughs> Hi, right, Captain. There, I'll take your water. Yeah, all right. yeah, makes sense. This is actually a very interesting moment in this expedition because the finds that we're that I'm pulling up right now led us 
back onto the actual trail of the period artifacts that we're going to start finding here shortly. Let's see, uh, let's the water clear first. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you hungry? Am I hungry? Yeah, for this? No, I'm not hungry at all for that. Okay, first off, kiss my ass, Dr. Robert English. You know I hate fish. Second, that is the effect of red tide, which is bacteria in the water that is actually killing our wildlife, and the local authorities are doing absolutely nothing about it, and it's a big issue. Hey guys, all right, so on the way back to our extraction point, we, we came across a pretty big find. Uh, completely unexpected, let me give you some, uh, let me just show you. Which would appear to be the rest of the ship's anchor chain. So if you remember in the last episode, we were finding pieces of the anchor chain scattered about. We couldn't pick up, we weren't able to pick back up the trail. But then we found the anchor chain, and then this happened. All right, well, so we have an incredible find right now. Oh God, yeah. I don't even know how to explain this. I know how to explain it, let's go get it. This is a big one. Here, let's gear up. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I actually couldn't believe it. This thing was like 30 feet off the shore. And I'm not even gonna tell you what it is yet. Hmm, what about that? You're gonna need a, a, something. Bobby has all the tools we need. Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna drag that son of a bitch right to. Well, I was thinking we could use, utilize those chairs. We can put the chair and just with the water, just get it on the chair and then we can just drag it out. What do you think? I think you're back it out. Yeah. But we're gonna have a we're gonna have a boat here soon. Oh, okay. He's coming with the boat. He's coming with the boat. Oh sweet. I think I was filming. Oh I didn't realize yeah. that. Now you're good. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna get that uh, we got a boat inbounds and crew. I'm about to call in reinforcements with maybe the rest of the team. Well let's see what we three, can do first. Three, I think three's enough. I don't want too many people knowing about this until no. we get this thing on shore and in transit. Just it. Alright. Alright, so as I was telling you before, we, have, we just had a major find. Uh, we found a. Ooh, suspenseful end to an episode. So, if you guys want to find out what that artifact is, you're going to have to wait for the next episode. And please remember what I said about the publicly traded treasure hunting companies here in the area that are trying to drum up investment with absolutely no results the they these are these are real and they're real scams they are they are milking and ruining people's lives guys be aware there are fraudsters out there that are masquerading as treasure hunters please be advised all right so the next time guys i hope you enjoyed it remember to subscribe